Hey guys, it's Solo. Proximity Mines versus Claymores. Let's start with the Claymores. Works will be helping me today. So Works, thank you for your help. Hello. <laughs> me, 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 me. Claymore has a 90 degree angle. And at 4.5 meters, 14.7 feet, you will take damage. But if you're closer to it at 2.3 meters or 7.54 feet, it will definitely kill you. And as you can see, there's definitely no jumping over it. And if you crawl towards the claymore and stop, you'll take damage. And if you continue crawling, it will kill you. But if you stop, you won't die. And if you swim towards it in water, this will happen. Super close to dead. So if you see a claymore in the water, don't be afraid. Its kill or damage distance isn't so great. You can actually easily swim around it. The proximity mine has a 360 degree kill radius all around it. It's got a much less activation, but much longer kill distance. Activation 3 or 9.84 feet, kill 7 meters, which is normally almost an entire room. Even I got some damage there and I was quite far away. The downside about the proximity mine is it almost does no damage underneath it. So if you crawl towards it or run inside, you will survive. If a proximity mine is placed not on the ground or a surface, it will float. It will float to the top of the water. But if it is placed on a surface or on the ground, it will stay there. So the best way to plant a proximity mine in the water is to plant it onto a surface and hope that the enemy swims into its activation range because it's still quite devastating underwater. If you are lucky enough to swim underneath it, you will survive and take minimal damage. Conclusion. The claymore detonates slightly faster than the proximity mine by a few milliseconds, but it only does 140 damage pointing forward. The proximity mine does about 200 damage. But my favorite is still the proximity mine. Its kill radius is much bigger than the claymore, and if you're not beneath it, it will kill you. I haven't seen anyone slide or lie down fast enough yet, but I'm sure it will happen. It just covers a much bigger area if activated, and I've even killed two enemies at once using it and damaging the third player. In the water, it's also quite versatile and underestimated. Well guys, I definitely hope this helps you make up your mind on which one you want to use. So take it to heart, and thanks for watching. Solo out.